This review is of two Dynapack tracked paver models. Model NZG841 is the 2500 with an output of up to 800 tonnes per hour. And NZG8411 is the Dynapack 2550 which has a higher output of 1100 tonnes per hour. Both models come in a very similar Dynapack branded box. The 2500 has a grey decoration and the 2550 has a red decoration. And both models include some technical information about the wheel machines on the back. Inside the packaging is just the same for both models, so we'll open up the 2550 and it just consists of the standard couple of polystyrene trays and the models wrapped in some soft paper and there's no assembly to do because the models are complete out of the box. The only other piece of packaging to remove is a small piece of um, expanded polystyrene which is in there to protect the canopy and it's a little bit of a Chinese puzzle to try and get that out in one piece and in such a way that you could put it back in again. We'll start with the main difference between the two models and the larger machine has a longer track frame and a bigger loading hopper. But all other details are the same. Looking underneath the material spreading screw is modelled but it's non-functioning and the rubber tracks are reasonably good. The track frames look okay although they don't have any working rollers. At the front the hopper sides are metal as is the material feed bed and there are rollers for engaging the tipper truck. There is detail in the casting on the side of the body and there's some very sharp graphics. Up on top there's a decent exhaust pipe and the canopy is made of metal. Inside the operator's area there's a particularly good detail which is the computer console with its great graphics. The screed area is also very good with non-slip surfacing and some gas bottles which add detail and most of the handrails are metal. At each end of the screed is another tiny console and again it's very detailed. Like the real machine, we'll start by delivering the model to the job site, in this case the test track. And the first thing to note is that the model folds up small for transport, so the hopper sides fold in, and also the canopy roof and exhaust fold flat to lower the headroom. With the roof up we can go to work so we can try the model out on the test track. And although the rubber tracks grip very well, there's really too much stiffness for them to roll while pushing the model. You can move them by hand, but they really are very stiff. But maybe if they're turned over a few times they might loosen up a bit. At the front the hopper sides are folding so they fold up for transport but they can also be used to fold up to force material onto the belt. And there's also a neat pivoting set of rollers for engaging the tipper truck. Another feature is that the screed is adjustable up and down. It's very very stiff but that means you can set any pose that you want. And it's also fully adjustable for width, so you can pull out on both sides some telescopic arrangements which give you a wider screed. The access stairs also pivot for when you raise and lower the screed. The operator's area has also got some additional functionality in that the control console is on a sliding bar so it can be positioned in front of either of the two operator's seats that are in the vehicle. Another feature is that the whole of the operator's area actually goes from side to side so that the operator can see forward and pass any tipper truck that's loading up the paver. To summarise these Dynapack models are typically good NZG paver models. Some of the detailing is very good and there are plenty of interesting features. These pavers look good if posed with others in a roadwork scene and so they're highly recommended. <laughs>